Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm an eBay reseller on eBay and I've just dropped something. So I'll have a look at that in a bit. But what I wanted to show today is um, all the soap that we got from the last video. And then obviously a few sales. So this is what caught my eye. These are fairy soap. And there's even um, stickers on there still. So I don't know if you can see. Ten pence and half. And then I wasn't gonna, wasn't actually gonna buy it, right? But then I did a quick eBay search, and I seen like three, four of them go for like thirty, forty pounds. Individuals going for fifteen pounds. Um, so clearly there must be something to it and then I think at the, in the end I paid like five pound for the whole bundle So let me just show you the bundle So It's a bit weird when I've got this magnetic camera on the back, but so yeah That's the bundle. We've got a few different ones three wishes um, Some Del Mare, whatever they are some cadmium pink velvet, imperial leather ones, clearly a bit, bit older. Some more imperial ones. It's not year or anything like that, but some fresh soap. And then we've got a few other ones like shield soap deodorant, really. What is that? A soap and a deodorant in one. Oh, some co-op ones, a bit in pink. But yeah, that's the whole bundle there. There's tons of them, and I'm going to start listing them up. That's saying, I'm going to start listing them up. If any of you guys want some of that, message me. Um, just find me on Instagram and then if any of you guys are interested in buying some vintage soap to rub on yourself, let me know. All right. Next up, so that's uh, what I'm going to work on today and then I'll, I'll try and as soon as, they're, as, soon as they start selling, I'll, st I'll, I'll let you guys know how, how it's going with them. I mean, clearly these are the first ones that I'll do. So I'll go on today. See how we get along with it. We've also got some cool sales to show you guys. So some of the stuff that we need to. Oh, you know, if you see it along your journey. So while it's out here, that Nintendo Donkey Kong is it Donkey Kong Junior? And a bit of damage at the bottom. Don't know if you can see it, but. That bottom bit has a bit of crack. I might have done it because I don't think it was like that. Um, but yeah, it might have happened while I had it in my bag. But yeah, that's gone for forty pounds plus postage. Not bad. I think I paid this and some other stuff for like fifteen pounds or twelve pounds. I can't remember. That's gone for four, uh, forty pounds plus postage, which is not bad. Then we've got in box E. This is a cool one. This is a phone. Boxy. Let's not break it again. Boxy seems a bit empty. Needs a bit of refilling. But yeah, it's this one here. So I did have the charger, which I've obviously included in the sale. Is that the same as a camera that I've recently bought? Let me check that. So yeah, I'm not sure if I've actually had this on a video. If you're wearing headphones, it's going to sound a bit weird now. All this bubble wrap. Uh, 
I was just trying to uh, protect it basically. You can tell it's secure. So that's what we sold. And that went for 70 pounds plus postage, 70 pounds for this phone. It's a Siemens SK65. I paid a fiver, I believe. Um, and yeah, what it does is, it goes like this, it turns to, to a keyboard. I know Nokia did a similar one. And yeah, this was uh, by Siemens. And I think it has built-in Blackberry. I'm sure I um, tried to sim in it and it was working fine, which is, you know, what's a bit of a surprise, but most of these old phones that I've had have worked. So let's get that back in. So yeah, that's a Siemens SK65. If you ever see it, keep an eye on it. There are loads of other ones like even these, the Nokia's they sell. And these, someone is always after them, right? And we've got um, the box cell, I already took it out. Basically was one of this, it's a smart floppy disk. Now I didn't know these actually ex existed till I actually had seen it at the um, car boot. So what it is, it's a floppy shape with some batteries in there. And then a Smart Media slot. Smart Media was like before the SD cards, slightly bigger discs than um, the actual SD cards, but yeah, so this would allow you to use one of them in a normal floppy drive as if you're using a floppy drive. Great if you are, um, I don't know, could it work for Commodores and stuff like that? I mean, Amigas with floppies, so you could technically emulate it, maybe. Uh, what we else we got? We got in box J, that's a um, Wi-Fi thing, thing I'm saying. So what it is, it's a Wi-Fi extender. Basically copies your Wi-Fi and just extends it. So you can plug it into a different room and then it will just extend the range of it. Also has ports at the bo bottom. So you can either copy that or you can um, turn the Wi-Fi into an ethernet, which is quite cool. So I was using it in the shed till I got the Eero. And once I got the Eero, I just left it. The Eero actually is more powerful. Next up, we got P and J. No, P and L. P is... Box P, we saw the, oh yeah, that sold for £9.50. Box P, we sold a Kodak Easy Share. With a four gig memory card. 
battery was included in it. I just took it out so it doesn't drain. I'm going to make sure that there's no photos in there. I just got to check the um, the plug was supposed to be with it. So yeah, I did include the plug. That's when uh, that's gone for forty-eight pounds plus postage, which is not bad. Digital camera is always doing well for me, and I keep finding them. So. Brilliant. Um, the last one is an L. That's a uh, Vita kit game, which was actually destined for the bins and kind of ended up saving it. I don't think anybody was wanting it, but clearly, still somebody here wouldn't want it. So what we got here, good old VTEC, it's like a game console for kids, runs on batteries, it does have a um, port on there where you can power it by DC, and then it's got loads of games. The games come on like learning cartridges like this, that's learning content, and then each one, kind of like Scooby-Doo, tells you. What kind of stuff come you can do in it? So yeah, it's not bad. Gay okay, kids hooked on games early, you know. Well, on the iPad. So that's gone for twenty pound exactly. And they're the parcels that I'm going to ship out today. So let's get that sorted. There we are. Today's parcels done. Not many. But some good profits in these. And then just want to show a quick thing that I've added to my shed. Let's just move the camera around. So, to control some humidity and to have some uh, fresh air always in, I've added these net here. It's like a magnetic net, although I haven't cut these here. And it's keeping all these guys, you can see all these guys out. Even though I've got the light on, there's another one in the corner. And I'm also monitoring the humidity. Because the reality is, I've had to remove the bottom shelf of all my shelving. Because it was getting moldy at the really bottom. Um, so now, it's actually much better in here. There was a... Slight smell. Like, I guess I didn't have it in the winter time because I had the heater on here. But during the summertime, I kind of stopped using the heater because you know I would end up boiling in here. So I've ended up having to remove the shelves at the bottom because they're all moldy and chucked them all away. And now I've had to resort to some mesh. They're like mesh window to keep the insects away, and it's working brilliant. There's another guy. There's another guy who's uh, can't enter. Sorry, you can't enter this. You haven't got a valid pass, I'm afraid. So yeah, us passes done, ready to go. I'm gonna drop them off today. Um, not today, tomorrow. I mean, because obviously today was bank holiday, so couldn't really. Post office closed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna work on the soap. Soaps are ready. It smells lovely, lovely smell. So if any of you guys want it, or girls, guys, girls, if any of you want it, all right, let me know. Um, just message me on Instagram and we can sort something out. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.